Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. And as you may recognise, I'm in Farm Sim 2013. Finally! It's taken me a while, but a, a while ago I did a video saying I was going to try to get some kind of Farm Sim co-op stuff kind of going. And I've finally gotten around to it, it's taken me a long time. Um, I've decided that how it's going to work is, I have found this new map called Riverside Map 2013. And I'm going to um, put a link in the description for the mods that I'm using, all of the mods. So you can easily download and install that if you'd like to try to play with me in co-op. Um, also, I'm using the Ursus, U-R-S-U-S, -S, that's how you spell it, the Ursus um, expansion pack. Uh, so basically I'm using that and the the mods that I am going to be linking in the description so basically if you want to play me you need to do that I will also have a raid call server up so every time I'm playing farm sim I will put the raid call server up as well so that you can try to join me and of course I'll put the details in the description below now I'm going to start this off, I'm going to try and do this in a very very simple way to begin with. I'm going to say that if you want to try and do any co-op, uh, it's basically going to be the first, I think I'm going to have a limit of six people, I'm not sure how my server will, will hold up, we'll see how it goes, but I'm going to put a limit of six people and it's just going to be whenever I'm on, whoever the first six people who join will be able to play and of course if you want to play you'll have to come into raid call because obviously this kind of game you need to coordinate with each other you need to play together by speaking and saying what everyone's doing blah 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 stuff like that so yeah so that's the plan I thought uh, that I would try it out in like a simple way I kind of trust that everyone is going to be very sensible about the whole thing if I get idiots who are kind of like trolling me and being annoying and stuff or just for whatever reason I can't play with them then I will have to ban those people or whatever but hopefully that won't happen I'm gonna try the simple way and if the simple way doesn't work then I might have to try a harder way where I have to like vet people and only let certain people on you know on and stuff like that Anytime my server is up, it's going to be called Simulated Heaven, and the, the password is going to be Sim Sim Sim. So S I M three times, all one word. Sim Sim Sim. So basically, yeah. If you have all the requirements I've just described, have a go. One thing I, that I'll say is I can't really guarantee I'll be on hours and hours every night. I'm more likely to be on at the weekend. I'm more likely like when I'm at work the week in the weekdays I'll probably only be on for an hour or two it's not going to be every day it's not going to be all the time I have loads of other games that I play um, you know I will try and make an effort with this for a while and we'll see how it goes and of course the plan is I will try to make some videos of the co-op that happens during these uh, server moments anyway so of course, if you have any further questions about this, you can leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer any queries. Now, I'm going to show you around this map because I like this map and one thing I like about it is that um, it's very, very good because uh, like a lot of the fields are very worker, like AI worker friendly, which is very good because there'll be times when I'll be on the server on my own or whatever and I'll want AI to help me out so let's have a wander about as you can see let's get rid of that this is like the main area of the farm I think it looks really nice you know it's it is really nice with the, like the silos and we got all the little areas all the little sheds and everything around here it's really nice but it's not crazy that it completely lags out the server which is good or lags out your game the problem is with the last map it looked awesome but it was so intensive it would kind of lag out your uh, your system kind of thing yeah so here we go we've got some nice barns this is obviously h2o water tank there is on this map there's a water mod for like the cows and sheep and stuff so you can use that and 
We have some basic tools, as you can see, to start with. It's pretty cool. I like it. Hope you guys will as well. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Let's get rid of that again. Oopsies. I think one is this. We've got a combine over here. We've got two tractors over here. Yeah, quite a simple setup. I'm not really going to drive you around all the fields. That would be kind of boring. But hopefully you can see that it, it just looks like a really nice map. This was a map that was really popular in... Uh, earlier versions of Farm Sim and the guys basically recreated it in this version of Farm Sim and look at it, it looks so nice imagine like doing farming in this kind of a backdrop I think it's awesome, I mean as far as the graphics go for Farm Sim you can only go so far with Farm Sim oh look there's people walking across the bridge, that's hilarious <laughs> but yeah, you know and it's got a reasonable amount of fields as you can see and I, I noticed when I was on here earlier that there is a milk truck as well. So basically, if we do get kind of cows and stuff, we can do the milk and everything, which is awesome. Oh, I hear a vehicle. That might be the milk truck right now. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and guys, you have to bear in mind, I've not actually played this game much, Farm Sim. I played the earlier ones a little bit, but not this one. And... I've, I've actually played more Agricultural Sim 2013. I mean, obviously, I should be able to work out most of the stuff, but just bear with me. I might not be the most, you know, up-to-date farmer in this game. I might not know everything. So if you do want to come on, you might have to help me out with learning a few things, you know, about the game. But, yeah, as you can see, it's a real nice map. Kind of simple, but nice. And I hope I can see some of you guys on. And I hope that you won't be idiots. <laughs> and I hope we'll have fun. And I hope I get to make some videos and everything. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys. Yeah, see, look. We've got all this area here for, I believe, animals and stuff. It just looks really nice. It's kind of a basic, relatively basic map. But personally, I think it looks really cool. Right. I like it a lot. Oh, and before I go, I nearly forgot. Ooh, what's this over here? That's cool. I think that must be for like something to do with the cows or something, is it? Someone's going to tell me what that is. I really can't remember. Is it for cows? I think, yeah, I think that's the cow thing. Then the, the milk will end up here, right? And then the milk van will come here. Yeah. Something like that. But yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. But before I go, I'm going to show you what mods I have quickly so mods by machine type the Lamborghini I have because I that is what I got when I bought the game on Steam I believe I don't remember so I'm sure most of you should have that then we've got some trucks the Peterville trucks I thought that would be useful in the future for kind of you know moving everything around although there were no more tractors that are mods I am because we have the Ursus um, DLC there's some really nice tractors and things that come along with that this is a round bale auto stacker that looks really cool it's quite expensive though whoops uh, we have a bobcat which is basically a, some kind of front loader thing it looks awesome these are all the the attachments I think for the Bobcat trailers so oh and then quite a lot of equipment for mowing this kind of stuff yeah round baler it's not that much really not that much but I didn't want to go crazy I think like I said before I went really crazy with the mods before adding so many mods so I didn't want to go crazy like that um, I should have some bins as well, where are the bins let me see there should be some kind of bins I added bins I wonder if I forgot to enable them I definitely have bins let's see 
You know, like the ones that you can keep in the field as like temporary storage kind of thing. It's kind of strange. Oh yeah, so these are all the Ursus things that we'll get. The Ursus pack is pretty cool. Got some nice stuff in here, as you'll see. It's kind of strange that I can't find what I was talking about there. That's really strange. I thought I checked it and we had them. Maybe I need to... Oh, here, here we go, what an idiot. Miscellaneous. I missed that. So look, under miscellaneous we got some of these bins which are really useful because it means you can have some kind of temporary storage if you're like waiting for someone with a trailer to kind of come back from a run so yeah there you go that's basically what we have i might install other things at a later date but i think i'm going to keep it at that for now just because i want to keep it kind of simple and i want to make it easy for you guys to download and join in so like i said all of the information you'll need including the link to the download uh for all the mods and the information on the radical server will be below in the description so i hope to see you guys and thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one bye bye